across the country today in honor of the man who had a dream, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. At the National Memorial in Washington, D.C., FBI Director James Comey laid a wreath. This is the 30th anniversary of the federal holiday honoring the civil rights leader. Dr. King would have been 87 years old on Friday. And here at home at the state capitol today, there was a celebration honoring King's life and those who are still carrying out his dream today. State lawmakers joined in the ringing of the bell. The Martin Luther King J. The Martin Luther King Holiday Commission recognized four outstanding Connecticut honorees for their contributions advancing the work of Dr. King, something Governor Malloy says we are all called to do. We cannot sit back and celebrate on a day like this the victories that we've had simply in the past. We have to understand that much work remains to be done if we're to be the people that Martin Luther King thought we could be. And Malloy talked about the importance of taking economic justice to the next level, and he pointed to Connecticut being a leading state in raising the minimum wage to $10.10 .10 an hour. 